project is education portal development in Joomla. Under that project, uh, some sub project have been allocated during this internship, during this inter internship proce process. So, these are the people involved, involved in that. So, under the guidance of Fatak sir and under the guidance of Avinash Avate sir, these people are working. Uh, these pe all, all these people are M -tech, M -tech, uh, RAs who are doing their M -tech as well as they are working on a uh, funded project. This is a funded project by MHRD. So, last time the in interns had contributed a lot to this project. Last time only this project was started. The inter interns had given a lot, a contributed lot towards this project. They only developed a, a basic model of this project. Basic basic model of this portal was already developed and it's it's already up. And uh, the features of this portal were, there is a quiz module in that, there is a video lecture series, there is a forum for discussion, and repository of various uh, resources which the teachers have contributed. So, uh, IIT Bombay conducts workshop for teachers, as all of you know, I think. So, about Every time about 10,000 teachers are involved in this. These teachers after the end of the workshop, they contribute many resources such as questions, uh, assignments, projects, all those things. So, our, our aim was to develop a one stop portal for storing all this in a good fashion. That, that, that is our aim. So, up to certain extent we, we were able to develop such a portal. So, the quiz module, quiz module here was a major part in this. The teachers had contributed lot of questions, so about 3000 questions. The, these, the, these questions were to be given in a quiz fashion. So, the teacher, teachers, uh, there were many options such as uh, the teachers can choose the time, time of the quiz that, that they want, uh, the difficulty level of the quiz, uh, the subtopics they, they uh, sub, uh, sub, sub which they are interested to give, give the quiz. So, there were many options in that, completely flexible type of quiz. The teachers, teacher can give a 10 minute quiz, uh, which is of easy type on, uh, on some variable on, uh, I mean, uh, topics such as variable or uh, data structures or any, any other, any other things. So, th this, 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 this is, this is about the quiz module. The back end, back end logic was difficult one. The interns ensured that the quiz are not repeated for a specific uh, for a specific user. User, for example, the if if I if I give a quiz at this point of time, they stored all the quest, all the questions which the user had given at that point of time, and they ensured that next time these questions are not given to the user unless the database is exhausted. So they made sure that the questions are not repeated. So, the logic behind was complicated and uh, uh, I hope, uh, uh, I am expecting the in interns who are this time, who are working on this project this time to go through this code and make, sh make uh, uh, I mean understand the logic behind this. So, it is it's slightly difficult and the video lecture, there was video lecture series uh, which was not too difficult, but yet this there were streaming problems and uh, and other such small small problems, and the, there is a forum, uh, which was a actually a plugin which was already available. But to configure that plugin, it was slightly difficult. So the interns took s some amount of uh, effort to configure that plugin and all, and repository of va various resources. So these resources are just put up over there. Links of each of these resources are available. So what what we expect the the interns from this? I mean uh, the work work of the interns. Who are, who are come this time. So, the uh, sub, sub, sub projects under this topic are multiple portal component for the quiz module. We had already, uh, we, we had given plugin development actually, but it is it is actually component development. Then there uh, uh, you have to, you will have to develop a white, whiteboard and chat module. So, for multiple portal, right now, right now our portal has only C, C, C questions. So, we want to extend this portal to other subjects such as database or thermodynamics or any any other such uh, uh, topics. So, we will have to create an interface by which new portals can be created easily. 
so, so that it will be easy to extend this portal when whenever new new workshops are being conducted we are actually lagging behind there are the about eight eight workshops have been already conducted and we have we have actually deployed only one portal so we are, we are lagging behind so we should ensure this time i expect the interns from this time to ensure uh, uh, to put up effort so that this lag is minimized then component development for quiz module actually the quiz module is like uh, they have coded in php so it's not actually a module so we want to component i mean component so it's it's not a component it's so we we have to create a component out of it so that uh, whenever whenever a new joomla portal is being installed just we need to install this component on to that joomla so that it can be reused again and uh, there is a we have put up one more project uh, whiteboard and chat module chat module i think it's already there in the forum but we'll have to see how it works and whether all the features are being met or not so these are the snapshots of our uh, what we have developed already so this is the main main home page there are links for lectures resource quiz forum registration of users new users all those things so this is the forum the sagir sir will explain uh, how to create a new component component for uh, joomla uh let me introduce myself i am dastagir uh working as a system administration i'm a open source enthusiast and i'm a active member of indian linux user group and the uh, originator and mentor of kanji linux user group here i am going to uh, explain about the joomla uh, it's a beautiful open source tool uh this is not for the only people who are allocated for joomla project it's for everybody uh how many of you created your own website okay uh, consider you have uh, you want your website which has some pages and you have the contents how long it will you take uh, to create your website yeah uh, it depends upon the program <laughs> see myself uh, i take 5 uh, hours or uh, 10 hours so if you want to create a website in 5 minutes you should use a, a content management system so the tool is joomla what is actually this joomla stack it's a free and open source a php application it's uh, it's developed in php and it's a content management system framework and it's a model view controller web application framework i will explain you what is that So, what is this content management system? See, uh, you have website already. Content is there. So, you, you want to change the content every five minutes. Uh, for example, take Creek Info. For every ball, it's the content is changing. See, if we develop our website in a pure uh, coding without uh, content management system, we have to manually edit for every five minutes or every one ball. it's really horrible so we need a uh, management systems it's content management so it's a computer system that allows publishing editing and modifying content as well as site maintenance from a centralized page you have a website you can edit and publish your articles from any over any uh, system see so what is the core feature of this cms allow large number of people to uh, share your data it has control access data based on the user role uh, this user have writing permission this user have uh, publish permission this user have review permissions we can define using this uh, cms it's reduce duplicate inputs and simply uh, it's it simplify the report writing and com communication among the users it's improving what is this model view controller it's a software design pattern why do we need a design pattern see uh, you have developed on website you facing some problems uh, another person developing another website i mean another web applications uh, take an uh, application web application he facing the same problems 
why can't he use the problem uh, uh, the solved problems which already he faced so if we have a pattern we can reuse uh, problem solving technique so we have uh, this software design pattern this software design pattern divides an application into three parts three uh, areas of responsibilities one is the model was the actual work of this model see the model it encapsulates data it has actual data so uh, what to display uh, to the user so these are uh, uh, these have some functions add and remove update and something what is the actual view of view path uh, actual uh, part of the work of view path is it observes data from the model and view to the user view to the people and controller so it, this is the actually controls what to display how to display it's actually tra uh, translate the user input into the operations so this is a total architecture see controller gets the request from the browser and it uh, it demands the model it actually uh, demands the model from the model and model returns the data to the controller and the controller gets the help of view to view the data so uh, you have the basic idea so you want to uh, develop your website you should familiar with joomla installation and some administration stuffs i will you tell you uh, how to install the joomla to install joomla we need these three packages already installed apache mysql and php i have already downloaded the versions uh, I, for myself i used 1.6 you can use your own so i have extracted and copy this and placed in the www so after placing you should give the permission so we have uh, given permission to read write open your browser oh this is the first step uh, choose your language i selected english and this is the installation check uh, th uh, these are the uh, settings you have this is a uh, gnu public license the database configuration uh, mysql username password you have to give here data base name uh, like uh, joomla new so uh, you ftp configuration you just keep it your site name uh, for example some uh, internship program you any or uh, admin email admin password so this is the final step the, uh, installation is completed uh, you have to remove manually the installation folder from Let's be our site. So we have created a site. Let's see the administration page. So 
it has uh, all the managers so uh, model uh, module managers extension manager media manager uh, you can add your content here you can add uh, contents you can add a you can add mul multiple menus here one we have only one menus main menu you have a website joomla website so you want to extend it uh, how to extend means uh, you want to uh, if you want to create a new models or new applications uh, to place in into your website how can we do that by developing a plugin and model component for joomla see uh, joomla we can uh, extend our website in three ways uh, one is plugin development and one is model development and one more is component development this component is a, a separate web applications it's uh, using mvc structure it's a separate web application model is uh, a model to the already present application a single model plugin is a is a sing, is a single function so joomla have two entry point one is public one is administration public only have access to view and administration have access uh, for uh, do any things so we have to create two files important two files public display we are going to create a component for public displays create a hello.php file so i'm just going to print hello world so you have you created a, a hello world program how to test that yeah so the hello world is printing here look at here some error loading oh, i will tell you what's happening there so we have inserted our component in joomla for administration side joomla go to your administration and go components here you can view here create a same file for administration hello admin so how to test that copy so hello admin say some error loading so now we have created a hello world and we tested so you notice that one error no see according to the joomla uh, we should create a component as an installable it should be an install see we didn't any installation uh, we just created a file inside the component uh, in administration and people view this is not a correct way so we should make our component as a installable file so for that we have to create a directory create anywhere oh for example here yeah. here we need hello world dot xml file so i already created we know we don't have time so i will copy that
So, we should create an hello world dot XML files and site for the see we have two entry point no? one is site and one is admin admin uh, inside the how to create hello world dot php and index dot html file in admin path same hello world dot php and index dot html file in index dot html you just uh, give it a blank uh, empty page I will tell you the reason why we should give an index dot html. This is an xml file uh, should have all the informations. This is an ex, uh, extension type is component you can create a module and can create plugin also. So, this is the component type and the name of the plugin uh, component is hello world and the author name and author email id. Uh, this is the component version uh, 0.01 and give here uh, descriptions about your model and these are the folders site folders and administration admin folder we are going to uh, install. So, in site folder we have index.html file and hello world.php file in admin same things. So, these are the things we need to install our component in Joomla. So, you how to compress it as a zip format. How to install this uh, now we will delete which we already created. So, in Joomla administration page we have uh, extension extension manager through this uh, we can install plugin templates or uh, uh, modules whatever browse your file. Where is that? And upload and install. So, the imp installing component was successful. Shall we test the same? Um, So, now the error is gone. This index.html file should be placed in all the folders. Uh, why? Because some security reasons. If uh, if any unauthorized persons uh, who trying to uh, view your site, it's, uh, it uh, it secures. So, now we uh, seen already seen that component installations. Is this correct way or oh, Joomla component development? See, we did not follow any MVC pattern rules, we did not follow, we just uh, uh, echo hello world, we did not. Is that a correct way? Oh, definitely not. Then, how we should use an MVC pattern, right? Oh, in Joomla framework, third party developers. Uh, we split our, our component in three parts a model, controllers, and views. I already explained what is that. So, now I am going to add MVC part to our com hello world component. So, here I have added one more folder called model, models and views. 
and her controller. Let us see what inside is that. the model oops oh, it is it a uh, li little bit st uh, stuff uh, you can you cannot understand the people who know php uh, they can understand so this is the way uh, we we should write uh, our uh, web application as a uh, using MVC software design pattern. Uh, this hello world or PHP, it's uh, outside of inside. This hello world or PHP is an entry point. Entry point. Uh, I I told you know that uh, our site have two entry point. One is administration and one is people view. So this con this hello world or PHP is an uh, entry point. See, whenever we call our component, uh, uh, it goes to first. It goes to this, this file. So here, uh, these first lines, uh, it's it's for uh, access, uh, restriction access. So we, we cannot directly access this page. Uh, this is uh, this importing controller uh, modules. And this method get instance, this get uh, the object of the hello world controller. Uh, I, s I showed you that client uh, requesting uh, controller, the controller gets the data from module and the module uh, after getting the model, the controller view, uh, uh, views the data using the view. So, first the entry is uh, getting the request, getting the request. Uh, I mean, uh, it goes to the controller. The request is that do some task. See in Joomla, this is the uh, code to get uh, task. The controller's uh, default task is that uh, we didn't uh, we didn't any there is nothing any task defined here. The uh, default task is that display. So, this class will ask the view to get uh, data from the model. See, this is view.html.php. This view.html, this why we are giving HTML here, the mode of display. See, view.html.php, this HTML uh, means that uh, the uh, display mode, we are going to display as an HTML mode. So, this function default function is display, so, uh, the controller default function here we did not any, anything we did not uh, give here. So, the default function is display, so it, it calls the display function here. See this in this function it is getting the message I mean the data from models. So, the model is here. Here actually we we uh, we uh, define the data, so we are assigning here the data uh, to the variables here. So it returns uh, this data to the view. After getting the data, this view uh, use some template to view the data. So it it sends the uh, data to the template to view the data. That's called a default.php. Here actually we are printing the data. So uh, the model view architecture is that we are getting a request and uh, 
asking uh, uh, demands. Uh, uh, actually, we are getting request uh, from the controller. The controller uh, demands the data from the uh, modules and module uh, returns the data to the controller and controller uh, as the view to view the data. So, this is the pattern we should use. So, we have to install that. So, in XML file, we have a created a folder. So, views folder we created and models folder we created. So, we have to specify here. And we compressed as a zip file. So, I am going to install that. We have installed. Test your component. So, hello world administrator. So, we have controller develop templates, we have package run. So, we have created and uh, models and we have tested. See how people know we have to specify that option equal to some co component model, how the people know that oh, they did not know oh, to call the models. So, we have to add uh, this model component in a main menu, if we give as a main menu they can select and they do perform. So, now I am going to add this component in main menu. To do that, to the main menu manager and go to the main menu and create a new and select menu item type. Here, oh, I am going to give that that path, external path. Menu title is uh, Hello World. Here, you should give that uh, link. Sorry. is um, hello world, it sh the state should be published and the access should be public, everything is ok. Save, now view a site, see we have added our component here, just click and get an hello world. Presentation is over. Now, 